Hi, hello there. Welcome to this special Earth Day to May Day sneak peek live stream. And uh, if you were on just a few minutes ago, you got a sneak peek going into our sneak peek live stream. Uh, we uh, had a few adventures in the land of Open Broadcast Studio. So you got to see a bit behind the scenes here as we make the magic happen here on the Green Party's live stream channels. My name is Michael O'Neill, and I'm the communications manager for the Green Party of the United States, believe it or not. And uh, this is not my first live stream. I actually uh, have been doing live streams for the Green Party in various platforms uh, since 2016. I did a lot of live streams with this man right over here uh, to my uh, to the side of me, David Cobb, uh, and uh, he served as the Green Party's 2004 presidential nominee and also as the campaign manager for the uh, Jill Stein Ajamu Baraka 2016 campaign. David, say hello to everyone, please. Uh, howdy, y'all. And I just got to say, uh, Michael, like uh, it, it, you handled it beautifully because the reality is, as we work to restructure a completely new world, we're going to stumble, we're going to trip, sometimes we'll even fall. But the thing is, we don't stay down. We get up, we brush ourselves up and go. So, you know, the reality is that I am honored to be part of this conversation. I'm honored uh, to have worked with you on the Stein Baraka campaign. I'm equally honored to call you a friend. So uh, I'm also really excited to engage this conversation. Earth Day to May Day, because from my way of thinking, the red and the green is where it's at. And there is something magical about an Earth Day to May Day frame. And kudos to you, kudos to the Green Eco Socialist uh, uh, Committee, kudos to all of the folks who are really engaging and wrapping themselves and leaning in from Earth Day to May Day as a frame. Thank you for that, David. And uh, yeah, I am proud to be a Green and knowing that um, this is something that as an Earth Day to May Day frame that has been pushed by the Green Party and allies since going back to 2014 with the, um, the global climate convergence and around the global climate march that particular year. And so one thing that's really special about this year in drawing together the Earth Day to May Day theme is this uh, post-capitalism conference that is coming up that's being uh, at, it's, it's an online conference it's in partnership with uh, Cooperation Humboldt. Uh, and I know, David, you've been uh, working with Humboldt State University or Humboldt. Yeah, great. And so you got it. fantastic. All right. And so this really ties it together because you, you're kicking off this post-capitalism conference on Earth Day. It runs from uh, Thursday, April 22nd to Sunday, April 25th. And as the name implies, there's going to be a lot talking about um, at the economic systems of, of capital and capitalism and how it's how it exploits us and, and exploits our society and exploits workers. But of course, it being uh, kicking off on Earth Day, it's going to be talking about how capitalism is destroying the climate, destroying the planet, how it has been for so long. And I'm really excited that we have green leaders presenting at that, uh, such as Gloria Matera, one of our Green Party national co-chairs, uh, Rich Whitney, one of the uh, Hall of Fame Green Party gubernatorial candidates who did uh, tremendous work running for office in Illinois and continues to run for office. And uh, I'm going to be presenting, uh, which I'm, I'm thrilled to present at this conference. David, can you talk a bit about how your work as a Green and tying together the themes of ecological wisdom in Earth Day and uh, worker power and worker liberation and economic liberation in May Day, how are those coming together for this post-capitalism conference? Happy to do it. And before we go on, I also do want to lift up some other Green Party leaders who are going to be presenting as Greens. It includes Margaret Kimberly uh, and Melicia or Mel Figueroa, right? So the, the reality is, Michael, and I do want to say this because we're on a Green Party of the United States live stream, you know, I know, and viewers know that the movement folks will like, like they love Green Party energy. They love Green Party sweat equity. They're, like they're, they'll definitely want us to be there as part of the marches and the demonstrations, but they rarely seem to encourage us to have the microphone. They rarely put us in front of the video. So this is something unique because we're offering 21 
sessions that cover racial capitalism, the global ecological destruction, and the solutions that the solidarity economy framework uh, gives us. And, and I really want to be clear, Greens as Greens are going to actually be participating. The reality is that Margaret, Gloria, and Rich will literally be there on a panel on the Green Eco-Socialist Network. Uh, Michael, you will actually be with Kali Akuno and Mel Figueroa, actually with a what is to be done, like a really forward thinking approach. And I don't know what you'll say because you are a panelist, you get to say whatever you want, but I certainly hope that on that panel from that microphone uh, in a really, uh, uh, and a really key part of the, for the program, I suspect and hope that you might talk about the need to engage electoral politics from Earth Day to May Day. And that's something that we as Greens know that, that it's not enough to have the right issue. It's not enough to actually uh, be on the right side of things. We actually have to engage electoral politics radically, authentically, and in a transformational way. Absolutely. And I want to give people the URL that people can go to to check out this post-capitalism conference. It's You can go to bit.ly slash postcap21 that is on the uh, screen right now and i also want to just lift up some of the names you were just talking about so margaret kimberly uh, many people know her as author of prejudicial as one of the uh, fierce journalists at black agenda report uh, she is a uh, scalding hot presence on twitter and other social media platforms and margaret kimberly i'm proud to say is a member of the green party of new york's state committee and uh, you mentioned Mel Figueroa, uh, who, is, uh, who also served as staff on the Jill Stein 2016 campaign and has been doing great work in the Green Party of California uh, for many years. And even beyond the Greens who are going to be featured uh, at this, I mean, there's a real ring of honor here of movement people. Richard Wolf, Democracy at Work, Economic Update, right? It doesn't get much better than that. Um, are there any other uh, names uh, that we want to lift up here? For instance, Emily Kawano, uh, co-director of the Wellspring Cooperative Corporation and also, of course, uh, a uh, organizer at, at the U.S. Social, U.S. Solidarity Economy Network. That's right. But wait, there's more because we also have Chase Iron Eyes, who many people will recognize as one of the lawyers during the Standing Rock struggle. Chase is a member of the Standing Rock uh, Sioux Reservation and is also stepping into the space with the, the media pow and legal powerhouse he and his partner created called Last Real Indians. Now, how much would you pay? Well, it's free. You don't have to pay. But wait, there's still more. We've got Nati Linares coming from the New Economy Coalition, Kali Akuno from Cooperation Jackson, David Corton, founder of Yes Magazine and author of When Corporations Rule the World, Mike Strode of the Koala Nut Collaborative, Trinity Tran of the Public Banking Alliance, Ramon Torres of the Cooperativa Tierra y Libertad, and more. Michael, we're talking about 21 sessions. We're talking about back to back. In other words, when you register, my friends, and again, it's free, but you do have to register because we know what Zoom bombers will do whenever you actually start talking about post-capitalism. But here's the thing, y'all. It's back to back, which means that you will never have to choose between, well, do I hear Rick Wolf or Margaret Kimberly? Do I hear Michael O'Neill or do I hear uh, Trinity Tran? It literally is a continuous offering. And each night, we're going to also be doing a wrap up. What did we learn and what are we planning? Because for us, this is a bringing together of theorists, academics, and practitioners, right? Like there is the magic praxis that we're actually encouraging. And I, I know that we don't have time to take comments or questions, but I do want to just make a personal appeal to Greens who are listening to this to please get involved, come and participate. And if we've got time, I want to give a quick shout out on Earth Day, uh, this Earth Day to May Day, uh, to say the Green Party of California is going to be proposing a change to our uh, platform to explicitly embrace eco-socialism. Uh, and I just think that it's important to recognize that Earth Day to May Day is not merely a, a clever uh, play on words. 
embracing the deep ecology of green and embracing the socialism of the red, like that, that I think is the secret sauce of a true transformational, peaceful, revolutionary restructuring of the entire political economy. I think it's amazing that you're creating the space for people to explore those ideas and the union of those ideas, and not just with the amazing speakers and panelists that you're bringing in, but also uh, amongst each other and uh, as, as people who are going to be in these sessions together. And we understand that uh, Greens and Allies Earth Day to May Day is going to be a very busy time. We want you to kick off your Earth Day to May Day uh, with this conference. but. Even before Earth Day, I just want to throw in, David, that uh, the uh, presidential candidate that we both worked for in 2016, Jill Stein, is going to be presenting on a Global Greens uh, live stream uh, Zoom webinar on 420, uh, April 20th, so it's <laughs> Tuesday. And that is part of an effort to build up pressure on uh, what are we demanding this Earth Day? Uh, because the Biden administration is going to have their own summit on Earth Day. And we want to make sure that we're putting the demands for a real eco-socialist Green New Deal that's transformative is out there and not allowing uh, Biden and, and other neoliberal Democrats to take the space of, of greenwashing. And so I want to encourage everyone to go to gp.org. And on the very top banner is our link to our Earth Day to May Day uh, action hub. We have an Earth Day to May Day calendar. Uh, that people can submit their events to. So whatever you're doing in your community, with your state party, with your candidacy or campaign, with your county organization or your local green chapter, you go to gp.org, look for the Earth Day to May Day section, look for the Earth Day to May Day calendar. There's a button at the bottom where you can submit your events and we're working on getting events up there as they're coming in. Uh, but I did wanna draw special attention to that uh, Global Greens live stream on 420. And that is on the Earth Day to May Day calendar at gp.org. Uh, David, I know that you have a hard out coming up here. Uh, and so what are uh, some of the closing thoughts to entice people to register for this post-capitalism conference at, at bit.ly slash postcap21? So, Michael, thanks for the opportunity. I do want to say my heart out is because I'm actually going to go get the opportunity to debate the chair of the D local Democratic Party uh, at Humboldt State University for students. And I want to encourage folks to remember that as Greens, we need to be organizing not just during elections, but all the time and advocating for our commitment to peace, justice, democracy all the time. The, here is the biggest reason that I'm going to encourage you to make sure that you register. Uh, and that is because if you register, you will get a copy of the uh, videos that we're making of every single one of these delivered to your inbox. So even if you can't come, or if you only come to one or two, if you register, you'll get a copy of everything that you see, all of those amazing lineups. The second thing that I'm going to do is make a personal appeal that Chase Iron Eyes, Michelle Vassell, who is the tribal administrator for the Weot tribe, where I am, Weot territory, and I are going to be describing a cutting edge legal approach that we're designing here in Humboldt, where we are creating an indigenous led community land trust that specifically is engaged in regenerative economic development practices and development. And get this, see, there are already community land trusts. Most of them are just around conservation easements. There are a couple of them uh, that do affordable housing. Yay! There are even fewer that are actually indigenous lit yet. Yay! This will be the first one that is indigenous led, but also has settler col col colonists or, or, or white people who are literally in partnership. Yes, it's under the leadership, but literally on the board of directors will be non uh, uh, natives and will be building affordable housing, LEED certified, uh, carbon neutral apartment complexes that will house both uh, WIAT people and non WIAT people alike. So this is something not to be missed. Uh, it, it is another example that the Green Party are, we're a political party to be sure, and we run candidates, but we're a party of a different type. We are also activists, we are organizers, 
And here's the key, y'all. We build deep, authentic relationships with other people in our community so that we can get larger, stronger, and better organized. We don't want to just critique the existing system. We want to transform it. Thank you, David. And thank you for joining me on this live stream. Uh, thank you for uh, helping to create space for Greens to demonstrate their leadership and, and policy and organizing with this post-capitalism conference, which again, I exhort our viewers to register at bit.ly slash postcap uh, postcap21. There we go. I'll say that one more time. bit.ly slash postcap21. Also go to gp.org to find out about more Earth Day to May Day events and to submit Earth Day events that uh, you are organizing with your Greens and allies to our Earth Day to May Day calendar. And David, I just want to thank you again. And I want to thank everyone else for tuning in. Uh, I'm signing off here from the occupied territory of the Onondaga and Haudenosaunee people here in central New York. And uh, one last shout out to the Green Party Eco Action Committee for all of their organizing around Earth Day to May Day. Please do uh, sign up and volunteer to work with that committee. And I want to encourage everyone to uh, stay safe, pay it forward, get organized, and we'll see you on Earth Day, if not before then. Peace. Peace.